Today's project is sponsored by Sunco. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY project where I am using Solar Path Lights LED. These are a 7000K diamond white. I am going to be using 24 of these Solar Path Lights LED to light up the area. They are 7000K diamond white, meaning on the scale they're not quite gold, but they're very white and crisp. That is the color I've chosen for this project. Each of the Solar Path Lights LED comes in their own package. It's bubble wrap. And when you take it out, you have four things to do. One, you've got to take off that front cellophane that's on there. Two, you have to turn it on. And then you want to set this in the sun and you want to build your stand that will support it in the ground, the stake. I'm going to let these sit in the sun flat. Without these, I'll attach them after. But you really have to make sure that not only do you position it right so that everybody goes into the right hole here, but you have to get them in here, but you want to make sure they're down. You don't want to see any of these little raised marks. See how this one is not in? I'm going to just press it in a little bit more. Now it's in. So I think this is easier. You put this side in, it went right in. You can see they're flush. You don't see any of the riveted lines. And then follow it with this. Whoops. Push that side in. Push this side in. And it's all good. Much faster and much easier than doing it with the pre-built. Uh, for some reason, you can get better pressure pushing in and get them in there sunk quicker. So now this is ready to go. All right, so I am going to use the solar path LEDs to light up all along here. As you can see, there is no lighting in here right now. So the basic idea would just be to give it some landscape lighting, which will define the area. To get the stakes in the ground easily, I just used that little tool, it's my weeding tool, and then I left a little bit of space underneath, you saw, because if I have to turn the light switch on or off for the solar disk, I'm going to be able to access it easily. And then I checked my spacing using any tool I had with me, making sure I was between about one and a half to two feet each. All right, here's the reveal. It was just get starting to get dark and I could already see the lights turning on and then it happened. I really could see the lighting. It makes such a difference on the landscape, defining the border, showing the plants, and it makes the yard, in my opinion, look magical. The area feels warm, welcoming, and relaxed while not being overdone. Now, here's the before and the after. I really believe the transformation is impressive for such an easy DIY. What do you think? 